The design here is for the rear of a garden behind a house. As you can see, here's the partly developed plant schedule on the right. And the design calls for some artwork on a plinth, and there's an image of the type of artwork that the designer intends placing there. But the design calls for some custom stone paving in the outside step area outside of the back door. And to do that, you would normally hatch that area. We'll select it first to make sure that it is an area enclosed by a complete polyline. The vertices here are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So we have a complete polyline enclosing the area that we want to hatch. So I'll escape from there and then draw hatch. Pick the polyline and hit enter. Up pops the standard hatch pattern that's delivered with GK+. GK Plus loads AutoCAD hatch patterns, and that's why it's called ACAD ISO.PAT. I'm working here in the metric environment, but if you're working in the imperial environment, the hatch pattern loaded would be ACAD.PAT. If we click on the down arrow here, we can see the various hatch patterns that do exist, and we can scroll up and down through them using the up arrow on our keyboard. But there's no particular stone hatch pattern. There's no real variety in hatch patterns there. We can click on this arrow here and load one delivered with GK Plus, but not preloaded. You need to load it separately. And we'll pick open. Now when we click here, we may be able to see as we scroll down, we've got lots of different patterns for different gravels. Uh, grass areas is a standard, but if we come down here, there's river rock and rubble wall and rubble and some different types of paving patterns are here as well. So let's just try the river rock example. And what I'm going to do is to pop that in. I'll change the scale, make it 200, um, get a density somewhere around uh, a half or one even and okay it. You have to play with the density. The density is not related to the physical size of the stones that we can put down. It's an arbitrary number. So we'll go okay and in goes the pattern. So if we select it now, we could change the scale at that point. We could make it more or less dense. So if we type 250 and enter, you can see when we unselect all that the rocks are a little larger. So you have some ability to play and experiment in that area. So it is worthwhile learning to load different types of hatch patterns. The internet is full of AutoCAD sample hatch patterns. We've looked at a number of these and incorporated those into that gcatplus.pat file, but not all patterns that you get from the internet will work easily, nor will they work in AutoCAD, by the way. It is, in, in large part, experimentation.